Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with our ICBM submarine. As you guys can tell, it is now floating again. I keep saying this at the start of every video. Of course it's floating, it has been floating since the beginning. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to secure this airlock and actually make it into an airlock. So what that means is we're going to put some pumps in here. It is going to be able to fill with water. If you want to escape using scuba gear, you can actually go through here and uh, that will actually allow you to do it. Whether we do it through this bit or whether we do it through this bit though is a different question. But if we had pumps into there, we had pumps into here to allow it to pump out, that is probably the best way of doing it. So let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so let's go ahead and fill this little bit in right here. Of course, it doesn't need to fill up with water, so we could go ahead and get rid of that. We're then going to go ahead and do this piece as well, and there we go. This is our ballast area, and hopefully that will be good enough. It is enough space, so that's good. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and fill this little bit in right here, and I'm also going to get ourselves some uh, diving gear, or scuba gear, diving, probably diving. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and shove that on the walls, just in case somebody is in here, uh, without it by accident or whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and put that right there and there we go I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'm also gonna actually add some oxygen masks just in case anyone is in here uh, without Without any scuba gear or anything like that. Bam 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 bam. There we go. Okay, that's quite a lot to be honest That is quite a lot. Uh, what I'm thinking now is we actually need a button for the lights uh, So let's go ahead and do that real quick uh, and then hopefully it will work. So select this. This is going to be for escape uh, pod. Escape pod. And on the other side, this is going to be for airlock lights. So uh, button. Da -da 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 -da. Airlock lights. Air lock. Airlock lights. There we go. Good. So we actually need a light in here as well, of course. So let's go ahead and delete this guy on both sides. Delete uh, that. There we go. Get ourselves some lights, and we can actually place those in here, just like this. That's completely fine. Attach that to there, attach it to here, and give that electricity, just like so. Very nice. Okay, give this electricity too, and everything in here now has electricity. Good. So, now what we need to do is go to the rear right here, and add some pumps. Here we go. Pump. Yes. Go ahead and attach this into each of these. We're going to do this. There we go. We'll actually go ahead and attach that to there. So this is in. All right, so it's the wrong way around. It's already the wrong way around. Go ahead and do this. Can I add another one to the top of this? Is that the best way of doing it or not? I guess we get more out of it. So let's go ahead and do that, going upwards. And then we can actually pump out using these. So fluid out. Can I actually get pumped straight out the back right here? And that'll be fine. So we've got six and we've already got five exits, uh, which is okay because we can do this. And there we go. Okay, cool. So each of these needs to come down to a fluid port back here. And then it will actually empty out. So fluid pots, let's go ahead and get a bunch of those and whack them on the back here. So there's one, uh, there's two, and there's three. Okay, seems a little bit strange for them to be like this, but that's fine. Get ourselves a pipe and uh, send it from there going backwards. Here we go. So that goes here, going backwards, that goes backwards, and there we go. So they're all able to go into each of these. And then once they're able to go into each of these, we should be able to pump out the room inside of here. Uh, main problem with that is... Possibly. Oh no, that's actually just about right. Yes, that's lucky. That is very lucky. We now need to attach some fluid pots to the inside of here for this to work. So grab these in this color. There we go. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Awesome. Um, and then we go to this side and we try and pump them out. So each of these needs to go to each of these. Pipe. Okay, this is going to be interesting. So bottom one at the end is going to go to the bottom one down here because it's just easier to do so. There we go. There's no crossing of pipes or anything like that. That goes straight into there, just like so, and voila. This one then goes into the next one, which is here. One, two. Send it up. There we go. To there. And I guess we can actually just send it off to the side and then straight on. Do, 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 do. Turn it around. Whack it on there. Delete this guy and do this. There's another one. And there's another one. Nice. From there, we're going to go ahead and send this one out one. And then we're going to send it down. There we go, and then we're just going to send it straight down until it wants to attach on, which it will do just now. Hold on, back that on there, whack that on there, send it from here all the way to here, and there we go. So all the pipes are now situated within the actual uh, conning tower, or some would call it a sail. I guess it's actually called a sail, uh, as one of you guys told me in the comments down below, which you are correct. 
Um, so we've got the airlock. Okay, now what we need to do is add a meter. Which is completely fine. Fluid meter is actually going to go right here. We're going to go ahead and put it there. And we're going to do this. And essentially, we need to attach all of these guys to the electricity. Bam, 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 bam. Attach it to there. Uh, we need a greater than. So a greater than is going to go right inside of here. Doesn't really matter where. We just need it in there. And we need a number. Uh, which is like 0 0.01 or whatever. Actually, zero does work too, so that's fine. So connect this to each and every one of these. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Connect um, this to level. There we go. And if it's higher than zero, it will start pumping. Yes. Okay, good. So if we spawn this in and we send it underneath the water, we should be able to make this work. Maybe. So go to the interior. Go to this room. Go ahead and turn on the lights. There we go. Make it dive. There we go. And then we can actually go upstairs and open up the stuff. And that'll be fine. So close this. Open this up. Turn the lights on. And that's fine. That does get in the way a little bit. So I might actually make this open a different way. Uh, otherwise, we might actually sink anyway. But we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually able to climb up and out of here now. Which is awesome. I say that. I'm actually stuck by the, uh, the thing. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So we need to fix that now, straight away. Okay, grab this, cut it, turn it around, paste it, merge it back in, and then we're good to go. There we go, that's fine, should work now. All right, so I've actually put it deeper in the ocean now so that we can actually use it properly. Let's go ahead and uh, sink ourselves, there we go. I feel like Phil should actually be on the bottom, but I guess you are gonna do it first, so maybe it should be first, I don't know. Uh, we need to sort these guys out as well. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this um, I'm actually going to go ahead and put some ballast tanks in there. We'll go ahead and put some pumps in so we can open them, close them, uh, and fill them and empty them. Just in case we need to balance it out forwards to backwards, we can actually then do that. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to be sinking now to go underneath the water. So let's go back upstairs. Go ahead and close the hatch down there. Open this hatch. There we go. And then we should be able to climb on the ladder to get out. Yes, it actually works now. Brilliant. Brilliant! Alright, climb out. There we go, awesome. And we can wait here until we are under. Oh, it's going under already! Put on a diving suit. Yes, it started to fill. Okay, I'm letting it get, gonna let it fill up actually quite a lot. And then I'm gonna close the hatch. There we go. And then it should empty out, which it is doing. It is totally doing it. Let me go ahead and have a little look at the outside, see if they are actually pumping out. The way that we need them to. Hold on. Oh. I mean, there should be bubbles coming out of this, but it is definitely going down, so... Yeah, I'm a little bit confused. I'm a tiny bit confused. There should be water coming out of the... I'm confused. Hang on. Let me go to the exterior real quick. They're not seemingly doing anything, but the pumps are definitely working because it's gone all the way down. That's really strange. Okay, because if it isn't working, I'm going to die. So let me go ahead and grab one of these real quick. Okay, is it actually going to empty? Yeah, it is. It is emptying. Slowly but surely, it is actually going down. Look at that. It works. Our airlock actually works. Nice. Okay, so is there anything else that we can actually add to this to make it a little bit better? I don't really think there is. We don't really need much right here. Obviously, this isn't in the best position now, but uh, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. As long as those pumps do work, uh, this area should never really fill up with water. Unless, obviously, it gets damaged. Uh, but in that situation, hopefully, at least one of the pumps is working, so it should still work. Um, that's great. That is actually really good. Okay, so now that it's empty, we can actually go ahead and open up this door and close that door. And now we are in the actual submarine, which is awesome. That is actually really cool. Uh, it does work and it works well. So I'm actually really happy with that. Obviously, last time we ended up building this stuff, uh, which is nice. We got the beds. Uh, we have the stove, the uh, sink. We have some eating area and some CT area as well. Um, and then obviously, we got the combat room right here. We do need a shower. I might actually put the shower here. Um, which seems a little bit strange, but actually I might put the shower in the front. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below where you want it. But, um, for now, I think I'm actually gonna end this video here. It is a quick one. We added the airlock. The airlock does work, and I'm happy about it. Something did just explode down here, uh, but we are gonna ignore that for today. I think it was the boiler. Yep, boiler exploded. Um, the easy fix for that is to actually not allow this to heat up that much, 
As soon as it hits a certain amount of temperature, we're going to go ahead and pull those reactors out. And then once it hits a certain amount of temperature again, we're going to go ahead and put them back in. That makes sense. But anyway, for now, I want to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.